Welcome everyone to Rainbow Moon. We're here today in the hidden cave to complete the uh, deluded side quest and make progress towards this because we really need to get upgraded because holy shit these enemies are pretty fucking tough. And then depending on how long it takes we're gonna go into the Stormlord's Den and complete that. So yeah, uh, which has the lowest number? This group. Okay, we'll go with this one first to show off the Dark Mages. Alright, yeah, so here we are. Oh, Dozer, you are fast. Oh wait, that was with the speed boost, yeah. Uh, do Dozer is so far the best character I've got on the team. Um, it also helps that he's got all his ultimate weapons and shit like that. So he's all geared out for the finale. Baldrin has literally one, and I think she has, like, one and a half, because... Yeah. I, mean, I guess technically Baldrin just doesn't have positives. Yeah, but he's fucking broken as shit. I upgraded his speed because... Specifically to, deal, specifically to deal with the Dark Mages, and I presume the zombies are weak against them, or... Well, he's... I'm pretty sure... Baldrins are weak against the zombies. So that's why they would have pumped, because I know he's gonna be good. And he can just watch the game. So didn't go first though, so yeah. So Dark Mage showed off. Uh, they got the, all the same kind of abilities. With the enchanted uh, status added to it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but now I've got resistance to that. It, it costed like fucking like 700,000, but it, it was worth it. Anyway, bag, that was a bunch of nectars, and we got one vampire lord. Can I? I don't even know if I can handle that. Um, <laughs> I am not prepared to deal with these guys. These guys are way too difficult. But regardless, let's go ahead and murder him as well. I won't need any upgrades, because... Yep, there he goes. Now we're trying to kill people. Oh. Holy shit, those room might survive. Perfect. There you go. Okay, your damage is actually looking okay, so let's go ahead and uh, revive them. So they don't miss out on the no experience they're gonna gain. Fabric? Huh. Hopefully they got some good upgrades. But yeah, that's the Vampire Lord. He's fucking powerful as shit. Hopefully that's the only one we have to face. Got a bunch of bags. That chest is clearly where we were meant to go. Oh, wait, no. Toolbox. Is that all he wanted? 98k! Damn, that's ex fucking... Way too much. The Deluded. Three toolbox. Okay, never mind. I have got one. Uh, I'm gonna assume one of them is behind. Yeah, looks like they kind of have the same pattern. That side's gone more, so let's go this way first. Okay, so I went ahead and cleared out everything in the cave. Just because why not? There's not really much point in dragging this out. Anyway, over, over on the, uh, well, uh, I guess it just would be northeast. Northeast way. I got a chest, jade statues, not okay. This is a toolbox, I'm guessing. Yep. So there was, I think, one vampire lord here. Group of like 24 dark mages standing over here. Not that they're all dark mages, but there's a group of 24 over there with a dark mage. Oh, Jerome's key is needed, eh? Alright. Nuts. Interesting. Wait, that's also interesting. Why does this go down so far? Anyway, uh, up this way, another group of here or something, and then two vampire lords, I think, or a vampire lord and some easy ass fucking enemy. Toolbox and Jade Statue, nice. So yeah, that was pretty fast. I'm gonna assume we get Geom's Key. Wow. Geom's Key. After we hand the quest over? After we're done here? So let's go over there. Hi -ya. Ah, Baldrin, you're back! Yep, we found a way to pass through the magical fields. Yep. Only three toolboxes from a cave hidden behind the shack to the norm. Let's show them who's <laughs> Yep, I found them. 
Perfect. Yeah, then. Give me a few seconds to look at the contents. All right. Unbelievable. We can expel them. Oh. Okay, that doesn't sound as good. Well then, I guess we'll have to get about this shot, eh? Alright, let's go straight ahead and do this, eh? I think we don't need any upgrades. Hopefully it all goes well. Depends on... That's not a good start. That is... That's it. Yeah, not even dozer. Okay. Under his start. Attempt two. Vampire Lord, where are you this time? That's a still pretty bad start. Oh shut up, put the club. Yeah, no, there's no chance. He's not fast enough. Attempt three. That's probably just as bad as the other attempts to be combined. Hopefully he's not too much stronger. Oh shit, he's okay, I that's okay over as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Move down, Doc Baldrick. There we go. One. Wow, that is... That's better. Oh, there's 
special ability to just fucking get out and hit the fucking tarantulas out. It's really annoying, but hey, that's a good experience. Oh, nice. He didn't do anything. There's one more way to me. about their liver that he dropped. Let me quickly check that out real fast. Ross and Leather. Oh, I like that. 20 strength, 20, uh, 20 speed. I think the uh, Spear of Hate still is, be still is better, but the Leather isn't too bad. Alright, time to talk to Jawam. Alright, time to talk to Jawam. No, 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 they've destroyed our weapon, Baldrin. It's gone. We are lost. What? This? Just a flesh wound. Here, take this key. Oh, nice. Stop them. <laughs> Did he fucking die? Does it say? Yo, I think he might have... He's either dead or he just went inside his house to patch himself up. Kind of sounds like he died, though. Anyway, let's go check out what that... Key unlocks, eh? In the hidden cave down here. Oh, big fire statues? Yeah! I was like, kind of forgot that that was kind of the whole point of the quest. There's a bag there, what? Oh. Alright. That's all the big fire statues we need. Uh, question is, uh, do I have enough of the robes? If not, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut back to when I get all of them here. And then we'll complete Eternal Master. Alright, we're here at Double Peak Isle to upgrade our level cap again. Day. Yeah, Newland. With your current level of knowledge, you can only reach level 600. I believe I have 20... Yes, I do have 21. Okay, good. I don't know why, but the Cursed Robes are so hard to come by. Anyway, delivered. Okay, let me tell you about the origin of monsters. I hope you're comfortable. Paradise. Oh, it was this big bang. Damn. Anyway, keep falling asleep during my lessons. Oh yes, your level cap. You now reach the ultimate level of 999. 999. That's it, no more level upgrades. If you want more, you'll probably have to wait for Rainbow Moon 2. <clears throat> Rainbow Skies. Bye bye. Thank you for the side quest completion. And that wraps up side quest 60, also known as Eternal Master. And now it's just a journey to the end of the game. Uh, so, first off, we should probably complete that. I'm one away from that. And uh, I know exactly where we're gonna start. We're gonna go to the Storm, Le Storm Lord's Den. But first, I'm gonna level up because I'm pretty sure that the boss of that dungeon is level 750. So I'll probably go until I get to uh, 800. Yeah, from my notes it says 750. So I'll probably go to 800 just to be sure. And I'll see you guys soon to complete that and complete, well, number four. Alright, we're here in the Storm Lord's Den to complete level 4. So let's get straight into it by killing this first group. Alright, uh, my characters are all level 800. Uh, I just I just leveled up in that hidden cave by Jwomps uh, for, si for that side quest that we just did. Um, okay, there's an enemy there. Uh, Serena actually got a 
eighth move naturally. Uh, the other two haven't got it, yet, so I assume that eighth movement might actually be the max. So any characters that can get, you know, Endurance Master will naturally get seven, and then anyone who doesn't have Endurance Master will get eight. I assume. I don't know if, how that works with Zalurus, because I'm pretty sure he's the only character that gets, um, like, armor that... Well, actually, no. To be fair, that hasn't actually given him Endurance Master. That was his previous guess. So maybe... So, yeah. Yeah, so maybe Serena and Zalurus will get natural eight movements, and these guys will get, well, seven movement plus Endurance Master, because I'm pretty sure she can equip Endurance Master. And we're going to clear out those two enemies right now. Alright, what's up here? We got a bag, we got a level for that door over there, I'm using. Yep. And this chest has a big gate statue, so that's the fourth, fourth one completed? I don't know. What one do we have to do? Yep, fourth one. We got another one after that to do still, though, so, you know, that's fine. So we're not gonna go out and uh, upgrade it yet. Let's see what we bother. Chest, gorilla, and. Bread and big gorilla, yeah. Alright, down this way we got Power Golem, Power Golem, both of those have something behind it. That's probably where that lever leads to. What's in this way? Another lever? Okay. What's in here? Oh! It's a safe haven, eh? Blacksmith, Savant. I'm gonna assume there's an item shop there too. That's probably how to get in another way. And that's probably the same situation. In which case, this is probably just a big ass circle. Um, alright. Heading down this way, what do we have? A lever. Oh, that's for a chest. Down here is just that. Wait, no, there's another path, okay. That's a black crystal, I can be selling those by accident. Don't so fear, I don't do that anymore because uh, I don't need the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I'll go back and clear out the enemies that we've seen so far. Okay, I cleared out those two enemies, as I said, and also the one that was blocked in the way earlier, so that unlocks that room. There's a bag down here. Uh, nectar, I don't think I have any room. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't carry them. Uh, we've got a bag up here with food. Yeah, okay. Oh, hidden treasure! It's been a while since we found one of those, damn. Uh Oh yeah, by the way, Dozer is now um our strongest character. Uh partly because he's got all the ultimate weapons and armor and shit for, that I put on him. But his only stat that's not maxed out is his well actually no, he's got three stats, which is MP, HP, and speed. Everything else is at their max level. Cannot go any higher than that from my knowledge. Uh definitely doesn't increase further than that. I used all the upgrades on him too, as you can tell by the materials used on each of his shit. Now I'm only waiting to increase his speed to max. Uh, but that's not too important, because I'll probably be doing a lot of leveling up after, uh, before the final episode anyway, so he'll have plenty of chances to level up then. I made him level up because Baldrin's weak to the Dark Mages, and since we're battling like heaps of them, I kind of wanted to upgrade him, and Serena just doesn't have enough. Serena doesn't have enough of her ultimate yet, she's literally got one up here. So as, as you can see, it's maxed out, and I want to save it until everyone gets their max shit. Alright, finally, and we, oh, this is the place that we explored that one time. From the well. Alright, oh, oh, 43 enemies, but there's a chest, so that probably has another big jade statue. What's up this way? Another enemy. Who knows if it's the same situation over here? Maybe? Oh, sorry, I need to remember to check the creatures, because this is like the only place that has any left. That uh, must be accessible by the other side, maybe? It's hard to tell because of the darkness and the light from outside. Uh, so I'll go clear out these two enemies right now. Yep, jade statues and speed buff. Which can go to dark. That's the only thing is left for me. And hidden treasure. Medium turtle. She can have it, why not? Because uh, I know I'll be using her. I think I used all my gold buffs. Well, except for the gorillas. Because I don't actually know if I'm going to use that on Serena. Because I think she's doing pretty good for strength. Um. What the fuck? What is this place like? Damn. Can I 
gonna be brighter in here, by the way, or nah? Well, there's an enemy there. And it looks like there's a tarantula, but it doesn't look like it's necessary to kill. Ah. Okay. Looks like this may be the, ha be the halfway point already. Medium mouse. Nozeru. And what's down this way? Oh, okay. No hidden creature, alright. Alright then, let's clear out the Yola. What's my material space like? I'll probably go sell shit after this. Alright, let's head up this way. I cleared out the tarantula before, just cause... Hidden creatures? No? Just making sure my light's on. Otherwise that'd be really annoying. Nothing there, nothing there. Nope, nope, okay. There's a bag down here, what do we have? Critical flask, some bread. Okay, I can't carry that, good. Cause that is incredible, that flask. Um, alright. Doesn't look like this side's taking much time. There's only been one enemy so far. Well, two enemies, I guess. Yeah, see, you already a lever, what the fuck? Might be ending a lot quicker than I thought. We got a Bone Lord here, alright. Okay, cleared out that Bone Lord. What do we have? Oh, chest! Big. Okay, never mind. I was hoping for uh, big jade statues, but I think there's only two left, right? Because we've got them four, and I think there's six in here. Get a treasure. Get that to Serena, why not? Uh, I'll keep that. And give it to fucking. Grodo, because so far he's looking like he's got the least amount. Um, up this way is another school, well, another tarantula, I mean. What's up right here? I can't tell. Well then, I guess we just have to keep going. Okay, that's pretty easy. Rainbow Middle, and oh shit, that looks like the boss. What is your name, fella? Oh shit, you move. What the? Are you moving away from me? Are you moving away from me, or are you just... Oh! Uh, turns out I'm faster than the boss, but that's a good thing. I'm, I'm not complaining. I just want to save my game, because I don't actually know if he's going to be easy. That would be fair, that was a speed bonus, I wonder if that will change. Oh, whatever. I need to check something first, and then we'll get right down to business. Alright then, let's get started. Boss battle! Oh shit, he's faster than us now. Yep, okay, so... Nice. I, I like this so far. He does have some pretty decent HP. Uh, let's do that so we can get rid of some of those enemies I'm actually just going to move Dozer around and just start killing everything else. He has gotten quite powerful, I have to say. Doesn't seem like he does too much damage. Good for us. He doesn't seem too strong, he just seems a bit better than average. What level is your. What are your stats, eh? Okay? How much health? Is that. That's 1 million, I think, right? Yeah, I think he's got 1 million, mainly magical, 500 MP. What was that about? Street of defense? 39k and 5,000, okay. Well, I'll just keep going, I guess. Until, well, actually, no, we'll make you defend. One, two, three, five, six. Okay, you have six moves. You're not effective. Let's wait. Dozer is probably effective. Will 
leave Serena to clear out the rest of the enemies. I'm sure we can handle the boss. Just gotta make sure Boulder intentionally heals up this time around. Yeah, Dozer is kind of a tank. Uh, there we go, nicked us. Looks like we'll be able to kill it on Dozer this turn. Looks like I don't actually know if that's true. Yeah, but I believe this is pretty much the, the second to last boss we do. And yep, it does sure look like he's about to die. Farewell, Stormlord. Alright, let's finish this off. Get around. Rainbow Beetle in there. Okay, that's from the boss. Pretty good experience. And battle over. You're 77. Seriously, why did the game order it like this? This is so lame. Wait, I thought it said 5,000. Well, maybe I'm just an idiot. Uh, so 1 million HP, 500 MP, strength is 39,000, defense is 10k, so that's one above our max. His speed is lower than Toaster's, but, okay, that means the final boss is no doubt going to be faster, because our max is 9999, 9999. Rainbow meter from him, and a lavender elixir. Here is it. Here we go right here. Oh, whoa, oh, I like that. Okay. Treasure room in the back? Oh, there is a treasure chest. Big turtle. Some bread. And what's down this way? Oh, another chest. Stuff some fucking money that I don't need. Big jade statue. And big mouse. Another. Big ladybug can go to Garodo. Unless, of course, his ultimate gears, you know, give him heaps of shit. And that looks like it's the end of the Stormwall's den. Alright then. Let's go hand back those big jade statues that I currently have. And see what they get us. And, yeah, I think I'm still missing some rainbow medals, but I'll probably get them. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight. I need six more. Alright. Time to go to Polad. Or Morden. Mordain. Polad. I don't know. And here we are, back in Polad. To talk to Krela. Ah. Yep, we have found the statues. We've got five extra that need it, but that's fine. Statue complete, uh, collection is almost complete. You'll find new items at the shops. The last 15 Big Jade statues, and I'll ask the merchants to offer all they have available. Alright. Castle Tenwell, I've got on the Hidden Cave. In this pageant, I need to do it. Passage, I need to do it. Dripstone Cave, I need to do I believe there's even some more, maybe. I don't remember. Alright, let's see. Do you have anything new? Alright then, what about the item shop? <laughs> Welcome! Looks like Mega Potion might literally be the best. Oh, large walnut is now available to buy. I'll buy one just to get rid of the new. Uh, everything else looks about the same, yeah. Alright then. Thank you! What about the weapon shop? Do you have any more ultimate gear for us? Well, actually, I guess we'll go armor oh, because he's running away. Mm. Okay, nothing new there. I can now buy that in the shop. I can now buy that in the shop. I haven't equipped it yet. Because I'm going to get the better version before that anyway. I've already got that. I can get the... That sh oh, I can get the best version of his helmet. I've already got that, but that's his ultimate. Not his best version though. Okay, we can get that. We've already got the better version of that. Lizard Eye Hat is new. But it's not the plus, so we'll wait. Because I'm pretty sure you can buy those at the end of the game. 
Shadow Crown Plus. Huh. And that maxes out her luck. And any new rings? Selfish ornament? Coin. Oh, whoa. Is that. That's a million. Whispering secret. Don't don't ask, don't tell. That looks pretty average. That looks good, but I think I prefer the speed one better. Well, I guess I could use it if any of them get maxed out naturally. The weapon is going to come up here. Natural service. What do you have? Uh, nope. Dark, very. Uh, did I see that correctly? Is this still not his ultimate weapon? Is this new? I think it is, because it's 15,000. No, it's 150,000. Uh, what the hell, man? What is your legendary weapon gonna be like? Please, come back right. again. Looks like we've searched for everything. In that case, I'll end it here. Next time, we're going to complete all the big jade statue quests, because ah. it's the last thing that remains. Ah. And the episode after that, we end the game. Yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.